we're just going to continue to try to unpack this this Aaron Rodgers so-called beef. I mean, Biggie wants a rap. What's beef? This is this is not beef. This is a turkey burger for me. This is <laughs> this is this is an impossible burger. This is beyond meat, which I love, by the way. I love beyond meat. I mean, you know, I love plant-based protein. I, I actually, I the- can name drop. I'm good friends with the founder and CEO of Beyond Meat. But like, this has to be. This is unprecedented for a reason, and there's a reason why no MVP has ever changed teams. Right, because typically the situation is good and beneficial for both parties to have been good enough to be MVP. The team doesn't want to get rid of you, and typically you don't want to leave that situation. So this is the most unnecessary, along with unprecedented standoff that I can remember. Because, and I'm no sports encyclopedia, but tell me the player, the star player, who's ever tried to force his way out of town based on anything other than money or not being able to pursue a championship or feeling like he can't win a championship in that situation. I don't know. Maybe – maybe, maybe, maybe those apply here. Well, I guess Jordan might be the only one that comes within the area code, and, and Aaron Rodgers reportedly referring to his general manager as the Jerry Krause. Which is a off comparison. Right. That's way off. So, so, But how about this, though, uh, Michael? I mean, like, I guess it's like the Midwest weather. you got to wait a while, and it might change because – you know, my colleague on, on NFL Network, while I was talking to Billy Crystal, um, James Jones, who knows Aaron very uh-huh. well, and he uh-huh. has made mention about items from the Packers world that come true um, a lot. So he is, if you will, plugged in. No doubt. He, he said on NFL Network 20 minutes ago that it's not about getting the GM fired. It's all about making sure we have the key guys we need to win championships and referred to the situation repeatedly, quote-unquote, fixable. So there's there that as well. well. And I think John Kuhn said something to the same effect recently as well. But thank you for that heads up. I'll be sure to incorporate that into the upcoming show. Because so you that know, makes all the sense in the world. Yeah. I mean, that does, that does though. That does make sense that that, – that, um and and again I don't know um if 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 they they drafted a wide receiver or linebacker at 26th overall last year or a lineman of either side of the ball we're not having this conversation right now though so there seems to be there's well, so many different sides to this but I mean, okay so Brian Gutekunst is doing such a terrible job and they, and I'm not saying you're saying this but I don't think there's a question as to whether or not the talent is there. I mean, they went 13-3 and three the last two years, and they're a bad call, a blown coverage, and a bad decision by the head coach from going to the Super Bowl last year. So they must be doing something right to be 13-3 and three back-to-back years in, in an NFC Championship game. So now it's all about making sure that we have the guys we need. Does this mean that Aaron wants to make the call so that, he's, that he can say that Jake Kumaro is going to make the team and Jake Kumaro actually does make the team? So, I mean, how much, is, this a, is this a Russell Wilson where he yeah. won't stay in personnel? Because um, it's a really good situation. And that's why the Kraus comparison irks me because, number one, Kraus built uh, an organization around Michael Jordan and won six championships. So if I'm Brian Gutekunst, I'm flattered, number one. Number two, <laughs> Gutekunst is not trying to break up the team. He's not, he is not backing Aaron Rodgers into a corner. He's not saying, okay, I'm uh... not giving you – you, you, you have to play for another coach. Jordan was like, I'm not playing for anybody other than Phil Jackson. No, but Bro, here, like, let me just, I want Tim Floyd. Let me just jump in real quick here because sure. I, I don't want you to be late for your show and we have the old proverbial heart out in about two minutes. That there is a forcing of the situation, though. The drafting of, of Jordan Love and the fact that his guaranteed money runs out this year absolutely forces the situation. Well, the latter they should fix. That's on the team. Fix that. Like grill this but beef, fixing grill that, beef and eat it. The Jordan Love thing, get over it, Aaron. No, no, get no, but it. no, 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 no. But the fixing of it means that they cannot put Jordan Love on the practice field and on the actual playing field enough to evaluate him before they have to make a decision on a fifth year option. The time ticks the minute that they draft Jordan Love and last year was the freebie. There, there is a forcing of the situation with the way that they drafted and the way that his contract is constructed. I there, don't see it that way. They need to redo the contract. There's no question about it. They need to redo the contract, give Aaron what he wants. But that means Jordan Love doesn't get on the field, Michael. Well, that hap- not, it's not the first or the last. I mean, that happens. He's not the first. I mean, okay, they drafted him in the first round. Uh, so, okay, trade him. Move. He's not ready to play now. 
He's not ready. And Aaron Rodgers just won MVP. Typically, there is a Steve Young or an Aaron Rodgers waiting in the wings, and typically the incumbent quarterback is declining. Neither of those things apply in this situation. So, if anything, the Packers may have blown that pick. Or if Aaron Rodgers is, is hell-bent on not playing for the Packers and decides to retire, then they look pretty good for having the foresight to pick a potential successor. But Jordan Love is not a threat to Aaron Rodgers just because they drafted him in the first round. I get the contract, and that needs to be addressed. But Aaron's, if Aaron just won MVP. This isn't Favre, you know, on the downside late in his career, or so they thought. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.